here with Victor Hugo uh, at BGJ Stars Battlefield here in Sao Paulo. Uh, they just released the brackets. How are you feeling right now? I feel good, man. You know, like the, the, the bracket is going to be uh, really tough either way. Hard to predict what, how is it going to be. I knew I was going to be one of the top seeds, but whatever. If, if the guys here are not top seeds, they are high level. Uh, I have a, a, really, a really interesting first match. Out of the 16 names, I have fought 10 names. So I, would, I, I was kind of like expecting to fight someone that I haven't fought before in my first round, which is the case. Wonderson is a guy that likes like fast pace and all that. So it'll be good. Uh, that's kind of like what I've been working on the, on the gym. So expect me to go like 100% percent you know high pace and let's go and then the next round you probably had the winner of Mauricio and Cyborg what do you think about that one yeah I don't know I think Cyborg has the, has the experience to, to take it you know he's been fighting Gi more lately and I actually wish that happens because uh, he was one of the names that I asked for for a first round match um, of course, uh, the way that the bracket played out, it didn't happen first round, but I look forward to have the second round. And from there we go. Is there any other potential matchups here in this thing that you're looking forward to? Uh, I think it would be fun to, fi uh, to, to fight either. Uh, I think Eric would be nice. Last time I was in Brazil, I fought him. I ended up losing. I think it was one of, one of his first big wins on his black belt. I, I've been looking forward to t take that back. Uh, he has a good momentum, and I'm always looking to test myself. You know, he's the best. One interesting matchup first round uh, on the other side of the bracket that I want to hear your opinion on uh, Mika versus Nladi. Yeah, I actually called that. I, be, I was talking to my friends, I was like, man, it's going to be them for sure. Because if I don't do Jiu Jitsu and I see a poster with Mika and Otavio somewhere, I'm like, I have to watch that. That's crazy. That's freak show. So uh, that one, I'm looking forward to it. You know, um, high expectations for Mika, but I don't, I don't, I haven't seen him doing any absolutes, like uh, as far as like black belt or brown belt. So that kind of counts. I have been fighting absolutes since purple belt. So it's kind of a different pace. But I think he has the ability to take it. But I think it's going to be a back and forth match, you know? Yeah, can you kind of explain what the environment is competing in Brazil versus competing in America? Ah, uh, dude, it's amazing. You no, know, people are, are really loud. I think in America it gets loud because of the Brazilian star they're coaching. So right here, people really like go loud. They, 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 they don't hold back. If they're cheering for you, they're going to scream your name. And you got to be kind of prepared for that. Uh, as I said uh, during the, the interview, I, I said that my training was a lot involved, a lot. Be prepared for chaos, you know, because of the names. You can't expect, you, 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 can, you don't know who you're going to face and, and the, our big names there. So I'm looking forward for this feeling. Last time I fought here was two years ago and I'm back at it. Uh, BG Stars, I think the best, the, at, at the best tournament to be in Brazil. So look for, uh, really excited for this opportunity and ready to throw a show tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you, Victor. Yeah. Thank you, guys.